Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very special video for you. I will tell you about our family trip to the Muhammad Ali Mosque in Citadel in Cairo. You will also see the Sultan Al Nasser Muhammad Ibn Kolowan Mosque and the dungeon. Hello guys, today we are at Muhammad Ali Mosque. Muhammad here in Cairo. Muhammad Price is not too expensive, Muhammad. around 18 euro. And we will show you a lot of videos. Have fun. Thank you. Our adventure began. As we approached the impressive citadel of Kau, the Muhammad Ali Mosque, also known as the Alabaster Mosque, towered majestically above us. I'll show you a video about it later, which I made on my way to the Egyptian Museum. We won't see the National Military Museum. Who is Muhammad Ali Pasha? Muhammad Ali Pasha was the Ottoman Albanian governor and de facto ruler of Egypt from 1805 to 1848. He is considered the founder of modern Egypt. He was a military commander in an Albanian Ottoman force sent to retake Egypt from a French occupation under Napoleon. After Napoleon's retreat, Muhammad Ali rose to power through a series of political maneuvers and was appointed Wali of Egypt in 1805, giving him the rank of Pasha. The citadel of Cairo was built in 1176 by Saur Adin al -Ayubi. The first sultan of Egypt and continued to be developed by subsequent Egyptian rulers for almost 700 years. From the 13th to the 19th century, it was the seat of government in Egypt and the residence of its rulers. Its location on a promontory of the Markatam Hills, near the center of Cairo, offers a strategic position overlooking the city and dominating its skyline when it was built. It was one of the most impressive and ambitious military fortification projects of its time. Would you like to have an explanation regarding about the mosque? No, thank you. It costs like five dollars only. No, okay. I don't have money. Yeah, have a good time. Guys, before we across this mosque, we have to use a plastic yarn for our shoes. So it is a protect dust come to this mosque and make all it clear. The clock tower of the mosque is a notable feature. The clock was delivered to Mohammed Ali in 1845 and was initially placed in Mohammed Ali's palace in Shora during the reign of said Pasha. The tower was built to house the clock, which was moved to the mosque in 1855. This fountain is used for ablution. It looks majestic. The San is a large open courtyard about 50 from meters long and 53 meters wide. It is surrounded by individually domed rewoks or naves, resting on columns and covered with small domes. When we entered the mosque, we were overwhelmed by the beauty of the interior. The white marble paneling on the interior and exterior walls gleamed in the sunlight. Wow. The sanctuary of the mosque is a central domed structure resting on four pillars and spherical pendentives and flanked by four half domes. Round the dome of the Mohammed Ali Mosque are six medallions. These contain the names of Allah and Mohammed, as well as the names of the four rightly guided caliphs, mainly Abu Bakr, Umar, Othman and Ali. So these four calligraphies are the names of the four rightly guided caliphs. They are an important part of Islamic history and culture. The architecture of the mosque is a mix of Ottoman and Islamic styles, with the tall minarets standing 80 to meters high. In many mosques, there is a prayer niche called Mirab that indicates the direction of prayer towards Mecca. The Imam says the prayers into the curve of the bay window while standing with his back. To the congregation, there is also a pulpit called Minbar, from which the Imam gives his speeches before Friday prayers or on feast days. 
The mimbar also stands in the direction of prayer, and always points in the direction of Mecca from all over the world. To the right of the entrance is the tomb of Muhammad Ali, who died in 1849, many years before the mosque was completed. Masha'Allah, it is very beautiful, guys. Look at this. Now, we make our way to the Sultan al nasser Muhammad, Ibn Kalawan Mosque. Just one last look at the majestic Muhammad Ali Mosque. Amazing! The Sultan al nasser Muhammad Ibn Kalawan Mosque is a mosque built in the early 14th century in the citadel of Cairo. It was built in 1318 by Sultan al nasser Muhammad as the royal mosque of the citadel where the sultans of Cairo performed their Friday prayers. The mosque is located opposite the entrance to the courtyard of the mosque of Muhammad Ali. The mosque is characterized by its Mamluk style and consists of an exposed central courtyard and for arcades. It has two minarets the tops of which and the dome have been covered with green fine tiles from the outside. The dome is decorated from the inside, with inscriptions with verses from the Quran. The name and titles of al Nasser Muhammad and the date of renovation of the mosque. A special feature of this mosque is a side chamber, which is closed off by ornate ironwork and served as a private thinking space for the busy sultan. The call to prayer was broadcast to the north, where the palace troops could hear it. The Sultan al nasser Muhammad ibn Kalawan Mosque is an impressive testimony to Cairo's history and architecture. It reminds us of the rich past of the city and offers a fascinating insight into the life and culture of the 14th century. Last but not least, we will visit the prison museum of the citadel. We explored the alleys here well. Otherwise, we wouldn't have discovered the museum. Let's take a look. The ancient charm of the Egyptian prison cells is preserved to this day. There are. There is someone in there. Do you hear that? A little fun, unfortunately, many prison cells were locked, but some are well decorated, but you must have seen it with your own eyes. Yesterday, we saw the cave church in Cairo and drove through the garbage city of Egypt. That was very exciting. We are open to all world religions and like to travel to interesting sites. Tomorrow, we will see the hanging church in Cairo. Exploring the prison museum was fun. Next, we see some pictures of the stages of development of the Egyptian fire brigade. The National Police Museum is also located in the citadel. 
At the end, you can see the promised video. Thanks for watching. But maybe we see this inside, citadel. Inside this citadel, the bigger mosque in Egypt.